Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we are here to do the second half of August reading for Capricorn. Okay. Hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to make sure you guys got your readings. For the second half of August, um, I just did air signs and joints for good. <laughs> so definitely want to see what's going on with your caps. I'm going to look at the overall energy for you. And then I'm going to um, look at the overall energy of the connection period, like the whole reading, right? Then I'm going to look at your energy, your person's energy, um, the energy of the connection, the challenge that of the connection, the strength of the connection, and then the outcome, okay? The potential outcome. Remember, the outcome, you can always change it. You don't like the outcome, you can change it by changing what the challenge is, okay? So... Let's get into this for cat. Okay, Capricorn. So your overall energy is the two of cups. Okay. The two of emotion with the nine of inspiration right behind that. Okay. So the two of cups is a union. All right. It's about this whole reading is about a union. Right, and whether you should um because it's the nine of inspiration was right behind that and then the knight of cups was behind that or the knight of emotions was behind that. I feel like you may be like a little defensive or okay, so with this card, this is the wounded warrior, right? So this is basically saying like I've been through so much been through so much right so you've been through so much in love okay and it might be impacting your ability to make this two of cups happen to make this union happen because you've been through so much right so we're going to clarify your energy um is the king of swords okay so this is the king of swords is he strategizes okay he's constantly thinking okay he's always thinking he thinks logically okay he um he yeah he plans and he strategizes and he um is cut and dry with it okay your person's energy is the seven of voices or seven of swords okay so they're a little distrusting okay they feel like someone's lying still and cheating that's just how they feel okay like they don't trust it okay let's see we'll see why okay energy of the connection oh it's the hyphen okay so this is something that could go like the long haul this is the energy um that is given is that it could be something serious something um this is the marriage card okay the hyphen is the marriage card okay you know wise counsel and all that but yeah they can see the, the connection is giving commitment. The challenge of the connection is the emperor, okay? And that's basically someone trying to control things, okay? The emperor is generally, he is like the ruler of all the tarot, you know, but he can sometimes be a little um, controlling, all right? So controlling energy, um, the emperor energy gives off, you know, ego, okay like it's my way or the highway okay so that's a challenge the strength is the five of voices okay so generally that's like mental conflict but this is also saying like although there is mental conflict i feel like you might be or you guys might be still like pushing to try to like make it work because it's kind of kind of be like win or lose right <laughs> this ain't no five is a three <laughs> so the three of swords is the um strength okay and so this is actually heartbreak okay so we're gonna see how heartbreak is a strength all right i can't see <laughs> and then the outcome is the seven of materials which is investing, okay? So the outcome is an investment, okay? You're sowing seeds, 
All right. So let's see what's going on. So Capricorn is like, I done been through so much. I done been through so much. Okay, <laughs> what's going on? Let's go to with the cap. Sorry, I've been doing readings all day. So I'm going um, to get some water. Say, I've been through so much. Okay, so let's see what's up with this two of emotions, this two of cups energy for Capricorn. Capricorn is thinking about a union. Okay, why is the two of cups here for Capricorn? Why is the two of cups here for Capricorn? Why is the Two of Cups here for Capricorn? Second half of August. Ten of Wands. Okay. So that's a burden, a heavy burden. Okay. Um, this relationship, this coupleship, this union has been a heavy burden. Okay. It's been a lot. Um, give me another one for this Two of Cups. A lot for you to deal with. A lot maybe for it to come together. It's been very difficult. A heavy burden. Give me another one for the Two of Cups. Capricorn, second half of August, please. Why has this been such a burden? Why has the Two of Cups, the union, been such a burden? Page of Cups. Someone's not expressing their emotion. Okay. Okay. Speaking their truth. Right. Um, the Emperor and the Four of Wands came out. I feel like someone's not speaking their truth. Someone's not um, expressing their emotion. Um, and that's what's making it very difficult for this connection to come together. All right. Um, with the Four of Wands, that's like home life. Okay. Structure, stability. Um, if you want stability in this connection to Two of Cups, you have to express that. You have to, with the Emperor, you know, take control of that and say, like, hey, this is what I want, All right? But I feel like that's why it's not coming together because of no one, someone's not expressing their emotions with that Page of Cups energy, okay? Oh. King of Cups. King of Cups. Okay? All right. Why is the king of swords here for capricorn why is the king of swords here the king of voices here for capricorn remember that's the king that thinks logically because you're thinking about how to move forward okay the chariot is moving forward right um it's generally moving forward in a positive direction and it's fast moving okay it's a car speeding okay so um with the king of voices Remember, he thinks a lot, okay? And so what you're doing or what it's saying that your energy is is that you are thinking of how to move forward, okay? Here's the two of wands. It says movement forward, okay? Forward movement. You're thinking and strategizing on how to move forward, okay? All right, that's your energy. Let's see why your person has a seven of swords, seven of voices. Why is the seven of voices here? Why is the seven of voices here for Capricorn's person? Second half of August. They don't trust something. Why is the seven of voices here for Capricorn's person? Five of swords. They're all up in their head. Remember when I thought that this was the five of swords? <laughs> no. They're up in their head thinking too much. Okay? Five of swords is uh, just a bunch of thoughts. Negative thoughts, generally. Okay? Conflicting thoughts. All right, and the Knight of Swords, okay, impulse, okay, um, they may uh, they may be communicating with you um, out of impulse, okay, um, because they're thinking so much, and that might be the reason why they have that Seven of Swords energy. All right, they're, that's why they're not trusting, okay. Maybe you're not sharing your emotions. We just said that. You're not sharing your emotions with this person. So that's why this union is not coming together. All right. So they're not trusting. They're not trusting the situation because they don't know. All right. 
And that five of swords is saying that they don't know because that's just thinking. My mind is running. My mind is running, right? So my mind is running because they don't know. Like, what's going on? All right? Let's clarify this hierophant for the energy of the connection. Why is the hierophant here for the energy of the connection? Why is the hierophant here? Too many. Sorry. Why is the hierophant here? For the energy of the connection for Capricorn, the second half of August. Hierophant. Second half of August for Capricorn. All right. So the energy of the connection is the page of pentacles. Okay. So it says development of trust and manifestation. I feel like um, the energy of the connection has the, you know, has is the higher thing because it can go the long haul if there is trust. Okay. I feel like you definitely have been manifesting um, a commitment, a solid commitment. Um, and this development of trust and manifestation is trusting that this is solid and concrete to move forward with okay with the harp in there that is commitment that is long term that is solid right that's real okay it's generally like the merge card right and then you get this which is abundant legacy okay the ten of pentacles is the happy family okay it has the family on the card with the pentacles and the rainbows and all that stuff like that because these these people are happy okay ten of pentacles is a solid happy family they go to disney world twice a year okay so that's the energy that of the connection all right this is a connection that can go the long haul the ten of pentacles okay but the challenge is the emperor why is the emperor here as a challenge for the connection for capricorn second half of August. Seven of Pentacles, okay? So someone's um, controlling the connection, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, you're, it says patiently waiting. But the Seven of Pentacles is like um, someone invests and then they um, just kind of wait around and see. You know, they put their little, their little Pentacles in and then they kind of just wait around and see, okay? So if you're not sharing and you're just kind of waiting, okay, that, um, that might be impacting the connection as well in a negative way. Eight of Wands. Then I just say not communicating. That's a challenge. Not communicating. All right. Being silent. Okay. That's exactly what that's saying. Okay. The Emperor is. He controls stuff. He. Um, he controls stuff. All right. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like I invest, but then I wait. Okay, I invest and then I wait. Typically, with the Seven of Pentacles, it can take a long time. Okay, it's like someone sees in the ground and then watching to see if the little leaves and stuff start coming up out of the dirt. That's gonna take forever. At least it's gonna take a minute, you know, to actually see product. You know what I'm saying? So you have to communicate. All right, you gotta communicate. That's the challenge. Communicate your intentions. Communicate your desires. All right. That's probably why this person is in the Seven of Swords energy. They don't know. So they just think the worst with that Five of Swords just do, 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 do. Clarify the Three of Voices as the strength. Okay, so the Three of Swords or the Three of Voices is the card that says heartache, right? So heartache supposedly is the strength. Let's see why. Why is the Three of Swords here for Capricorn in the second half of August? The Empress, okay. See, I told you, I'm not making this stuff up. The Empress, because now there's growth and progress forward, okay. You know, for this Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands, yeah. So, I feel like there might have been a conflict here with the Five of Wands, um, that caused that heartache, the Three of Swords. All right, but now because of that heartache, because of that discomfort and that dissatisfaction, because of you know the um, the feeling that might have come from that, all right, 
now it can move forward okay now someone's ready to um to think and take action all right now someone's ready to like move the connection forward grow it okay so that's why that was actually the strength the three of swords being the strength is because of the heartache now you know it can move forward it's like you almost had to like feel what that was like or whatever all right so you have the seven of materials as the outcome you just had the seven of materials clarifying the emperor up here as a challenge so let's see why the seven of materials is here for capricorn in the outcome why is the seven of materials here for capricorn any outcome nine of wands i told you okay if you don't want to stay in this energy you know of just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting okay but that's seven of materials okay it's also investing okay um this is saying that this is the wounded warrior this is i've been through so much i've been through so much Okay. So I'm afraid to invest because I've been through so much. Okay, give me another one for the seven of materials. It's a lot. The three of swords came out again. It makes sense though. All right. So, you get the seven of pentacles, right, as your outcome, right, which is investing, okay, sowing the seeds and seeing what moves forward. You're coming out saying, I done been through so much with that wounded warrior card, right? Maybe feeling a little defensive moving forward. Like, you want to move forward, but you're, you're scared to, all right? You're, you're taking the steps, but in the back of your mind, you're still kind of questioning, all right? And that's because of the three of swords. That's because of the grief and sorrow. That's because of what you've experienced, the heartache that you've experienced. Okay. That has you now in an energy where you're using your judgment. Remember, you're the king of swords up here, Capricorn. You were the king of swords up here. And this is saying that you, using your judgment, okay, using your logic, all right, thinking with a clear head strategically planning okay because of your past experiences to have a successful relationship okay to um to make this successful okay to make this two of cups successful all right strategically thinking of how to make this connection successful and take action towards love here making the romantic gesture doing something kind doing something nice reaching out messaging message messenger of romantic and invitations romantic invitations all right so even though you are proceeding with caution with that nine of wands energy at least you're proceeding the thing is you're moving ultra slow okay Address your challenge. If you're going to move ultra slow, because moving ultra slow with this Seven of Pentacles is the challenge. It's showing it right here. That moving ultra slow is the challenge, okay? Because you're controlling the situation, all right? So you have to communicate with the Eight of Wands, all right? That's the challenge. You got to communicate. Communicate your intentions. Communicate your desires. All right, let's give you some advice, Capricorn. All right. Give some advice for the Capricorns, second half of August, please, Spirit. Advice for the Capricorns in the second half of August. Advice for Capricorns, the second half of August. Seriously? <laughs> That's 
what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> We got one card a turn. All right, let's get you two more. Advice for Capricorn in the second half of August, please. Sir. Without turning them cards open. Advice for Capricorn in the second half of August, 2020. See, you know what? All right. <laughs> Okay, hold on, let me reshuffle. I don't know what's going on, Cap. Ain't nobody else do this. Alright. What's going on with the Caps? Get you some advice, Cap. So you got the eight of emotions. That's that's walking away, um, walking away from your emotions, okay? Or um, it's walking away from emotions, but it's also like walking away from emotional disappointment, okay? All right, this is better. At least it didn't fly, okay? All right, so this is the eight of emotions. It's like I'm I'm leaving behind. The disappointment that I've had in love, I'm leaving behind those things that did not work, okay? And I'm going to go towards my star. I'm going to go towards my wish fulfillment, okay? The things that I truly want, okay? The things that you think about. See how that is beaming from off her head, okay? These are the things that you truly want, okay? I'm going to go towards the things that I truly want, okay? Because it's time to make that decision, okay? That's what's just. That's the right thing to do. Okay, justice balance out the scales. Like when things are not just, okay, it's off balance, it's uncomfortable. Okay, so this is making the decision to go after what you truly want because that's the right thing to do. That's what's going to balance out the scales with justice here. All right, and the next class is the ace of inspiration is to start a brand new passionate beginning okay once you do that once you make the decision to walk away from the disappointment in love from the past okay and to go after the things that you are truly desiring okay with that star card right you will have a new passionate beginning with the ace of wands right and have the clarity to do that the ace of voices okay you have a passionate beginning with clarity clear mind like the aha like yep i know exactly what i'm doing that's what it is that's what i have for you capricorn hope this helped and i look forward to talking to you guys very soon um clean up my table and stuff i miss you guys already bye bye <laughs>